Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you all how to install the new Teramisu custom firmware for the Wii U. Uh, this video was requested, honestly, quite a bit, which is the only reason why I'm making it. If you followed my previous tutorial on installing Haxagy, you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to, you can keep doing it that way, but that tutorial is now considered out of date. So uh, for those of you that want to stick around, I'll be showing you all how to uninstall Haxagy and install Teramisu. So let's get to it. Alright, so getting started, we have to uninstall Haxachi and the Homebrew Launcher. To do this, it's actually pretty simple. You just have to go into the System Settings. Go over to the right, and we're going to go to Copy, Move, and Delete Data. Select it again, Copy, Move, Delete Data. Go to System Memory. And from here, you're going to see the Homebrew Launch Channel and Haxachi. So we just want to get rid of both of them. So let's start with Haxachi, click it, and delete. It's really as simple as that. The next thing we're going to do is the Homebrew Launcher Channel. And that's done. And honestly, guys, that's it as far as clearing Haxachi out of here. So let's move on with the Teramisu install. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is take our SD card out, and I'll meet you all at the PC. All right, now that we're on the PC, you can see my SD card here is blank. I'm going to be using a new card just for the first time setup for those of you that are just new to the modding scene and installing Teramisu for the first time. For those of you that are uninstalling Haxachi, all you have to do is delete the programs from the SD card, and I'll tell you which parts of this tutorial you can skip over when the time comes. But the only thing that needs to be removed is the main Haxachi applications. So anyways, once we're here, uh, we're going to open up the FAT32 format GUI. I'll leave a link in the description below for everything that I'm using here today. But all we need to do is select our drive. You can see this is removable disk E for me. I'm just going to close this. I have E selected. And I'm not going to name it or anything, I'm just going to hit start. And this is going to format the SD card into FAT32. Now, if you've already done the Haxachi installation, you don't have to do this part. Now that the SD card is all set up, there's three links for the uh, Wii U guide I'm going to leave in the description below. We're going to be using the first one for Haxachi just because it's got some easy download links here. We want the WUP installer, the Homebrew App Store, which is going to be this uh, Wii U Extract OSD and we're gonna need the save me mod. Next up on the second link here, you have the Teramisu instructions and downloads. So all we need to do is grab the latest files of Teramisu. Once you click this, you'll notice there's three green check mark here. It already tells you what you need to install. So just hit download package. And it should be all set with that one as well. Next up is going to be the SIG patch. Download, just click that. And lastly, we'll be doing the VWE as well. For those of you that are coming over from the Haxachi tutorial, you can just skip this part. So once we're here, we're just going to go to VWE Compat Installer. Click on the compatinstaller.elf. Then the patched iOS 80 installer. And the D2X CIOS installer. And that's it for all the downloads. So now we're just going to go in folder. And we're going to start structuring our SD card here. So the first thing that we're going to do is Teramisu. So we're going to open this environment loader here. And we're just going to highlight this and throw it onto the root of our SD card. Done with that one. The next one will be the SIG patch. Now for this, we're going to open up Wii U, Environments, Teramisu, Modules, Setup, and we're just going to drag the SIG patch right in here. Done with that. So let's go back to root of the SD here. The next is going to be the D2 CIOS installer. You're just going to open it, throw the apps folder right on the root of the SD. Next up, the patched uh, iOS 80 installer. We're going to open that up. Take the apps folder only and drag that onto the root. Close. Uh, we're going to be doing the Compat Installer. This is going to go into the Wii U Apps Compat Installer right in there. 
back to the beginning again. We have the save me mod. We're just going to open that up, drag this Wii U folder here to the root of RSD again. Do it again with the Wii U extract OSD. Take the Wii U folder, drag it onto the SD. And lastly, the WUP installer, which we're just going to drag all of this here and throw that right on the SD. And that's it. We can take the SD card back out and put it back in the Wii. Now that we're back on the Wii U, we're going to open up the internet browser. Just give that a second to load up. Uh, you should also have your console connect to the internet, but I think that should be obvious if we're using the internet browser. Um, all we're going to do here is go to enter URL and we're going to type in Wii U exploit dot X, Y, Z. And it's going to take us to this web page here. So all we have to do once we're on the web page is hit run homebrew launcher and then immediately press and hold the B button. And we're going to hold this down until we get to where we need. So just give it a little second. If for some reason your screen freezes during this, all you have to do is restart your console and try this again. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to dump our NAN. For those of you who already have a backup of their NAN, you can skip this process. But for those of you that are new, we're going to be dumping the NAN first. So just hit A on NAN dumper. And everything that you need here should already be auto-selected. So you can just press A again. And we're just going to let this do its thing for a little while. So I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, when that's all done, your system will reboot. And from here, we have to open up the internet browser one more time. And we're going to go on the same web page that we were just on. Now that we're here, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to hold the X button instead of the B button. So just hit Run Homebrew Launcher and then tap and hold X immediately. And we're going to hold this down until we get a change in the screen. Okay, so now that we're on this screen, you can see that installer is already highlighted. That's exactly what we want, so we're just going to tap the A button to continue. Just give it a second to load here. And it's going to say, welcome to the payload installer. Do you want to check if an installation is possible? Hit A to check. And if you have the option, you're just going to select install slash update. And once again, hit install. And it should be done relatively quick. and press A and it will shut down the console. After that, just turn your console back on and we'll continue where we left off. So congratulations, Tiramisu is officially installed, but we're not done yet. There's still some things that I have to explain and show you guys. Uh, for example, now when you want to start Tiramisu, it's just like Haxachi. With Haxachi, you had to load into Haxachi before any homebrew applications would work. It's the same thing for this, but you have to launch into Teramisu first. So uh, to do that, Teramisu is actually automatically assigned to the health and safety information. But before we do that, we're going to highlight the icon, double tap it, and hold X once again. And we're going to do that until we get to the environment loader again, because there's some changes we need to make first. So once we're here, we need to go down and highlight Teramisu, and we're going to hit the Y button to make it the default loader for that. Then we're just going to press A, and now it's going to take us to the bootloader. Wii U menu should be the first one that's on here by default, and we're going to select Y again to make that default, and we're going to press A. This is just going to boot our Wii U back to the home screen, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Now that that's done, I'm just going to reboot my console so I can show you all what this looks like when you actually activate Teramisu. Now that my console has been fully restarted again, all you have to do is double tap health and safety, and you'll see it go through the motions until it loads up the uh, main menu once again. And once that happens, you'll know you have it done right. 
Now, once again, nothing will work until you turn on Teramisu. There is a way to auto boot it to make it start on startup of the Wii U. I'm not going to be covering that here, but I'll leave a link in the description below for the Wii U hack guide telling you how to turn that on. From here now, all we have to do is go to the Mii Maker. Once you open that up, it'll automatically start up the homebrew launcher, which is why I deleted the homebrew launcher channel previously. I just wanted to make sure that it was gone in case I ran into any issues. So once we're here, honestly, the only thing we really need to run is the Compat installer. This is what will give our VWE the homebrew launcher. Uh, you don't need to do this if you've already done it with Haxachi or any other method. If it's already done, you don't have to do it again. But I'm going to hit A for those of you for doing this for the first time. And press home to exit. Now to finish up the setup, we have to launch the VWE. So once I load this up, I'll be meeting you guys over on the screen again. Okay, once we're here, it's actually pretty simple. All we have to do is open the homebrew channel and hit start. Just give that one second to load up. And from here, we need to launch the CIOS installer. Once again, if you've already done this in any other form of custom firmware, whether it be Cold Boot Haxachi, Haxachi, Mocha, you don't have to repeat this part again. If your VWE is modded, it should still be modded. So, uh, assuming that you're doing this on a fresh install like I am, just open the CIOS installer and give this a second to boot up. Once that's done, just press A. And the only thing we're going to change is the CIOS right here to the beta 52 VWE. From here, we can keep the base at 56 and the slot at 249. Just hit the A button and it's going to do its thing. So we're going to do this two more times after this. So stick around and I'll show you what we change next. Okay, and when it's done, it's going to say installed with success. Just press A to continue. And we're going to change the base to 57 and the slot to 250 this time. Once again, we're just gonna let this do its thing and uh, we'll come back to it. Okay, and then we're just gonna hit A to continue and we're gonna change the base to 58 and the slot to 251. A to continue again and let's just uh, let this do its thing again. All right, so this was the last one that we needed to do on the CIOS installer, so we're gonna hit B now. This will cancel this out and send us back to the homebrew launch. So I'll meet you back over there. Now, the last thing that we're gonna do is launch this patched iOS 80 installer. Hit A and go to load. Now it's going to give you a lot to read here and it's not going to let you continue until you read the big warning above for 30 seconds before continuing. And when it's ready, it'll say press any button to continue. So we're just going to hit A and the install on this is pretty quick. And we're all done. Press any button to exit. A. And that's it. Uh, we now have the custom firmware running on Teramisu instead, and the VWE is now modded. Now there is one thing I wanna drill into everybody before I end this video, so let's just head back over to the Wii U main menu. So as of right now on a fresh reboot, this is a normal Wii U and it will do normal Wii U things. If you want to launch Teramisu, you need to open up the health and safety information icon. You just need to open it up once and it will boot into Teramisu from here. Once that's done, it's good to go to do whatever you want. If you want to boot into the homebrew launcher though, you need to always go into the Mii Maker. I haven't personally tried creating a shortcut now that the Mii Maker has become the homebrew launcher, so I guess you could try that if you want, but I don't see any harm in just using the Mii Maker. But yeah, that's about it for me, so let me start wrapping this video up. Okay, and that's pretty much it for me. If you guys run into any trouble, leave a comment down below, do the best I can to help you. And if you guys like the content that I'm putting out and you want me to cover similar things, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. But until then, feel free to join the Discord, and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.